talking about? Who are we talking about? Oh, Uncle Park. Don't even look, look at it. Just talk. Yeah, what was you talking about, Uncle Park? Uncle Park and uh, and Kevin and went down there, got a unit from down there with with Doc Buster. No, so remember, tell me a story where uh, one of the Franklin boys died. And the one was up in Chicago. He was supposed to be there, and they dressed him like a woman. And brought him back to oh, him. that was uh, okay. And Uncle Andy had uh, Uncle Andy had uh, shooting die with a, a white man. And uh, it, anyway, uh, he, he took his money back. And anyway, he whooped the white man. And the police, uh, so the man we got the police. And when the police came out there, he gonna try to put it Uncle Andy in jail. And Uncle Dan whooped him, and they had to get him out of town. And they whooped the police. He did. Uncle Andy did. And they and, and, and uh, Isaac Franklin and them uh, carried him to the train station and put him on the train station. He came to Chicago. So when uh, Luella died, which is grandma. Uh, Uncle Andy went up and told them that Uncle Andy was coming to the funeral. My mama said that all of them, uh, they marked Uncle, uh, all the brothers. And literally they went, met him at the train station with guns, and they went to the funeral with guns, and they carried him back to the train station with guns. And Uncle Andy is there with Dad. Oh wait, which brother, which funeral was that? That somebody had to dress like a girl with a wig on. Okay, they, they dress, you know, disguise. Oh, they didn't want the people, you know. So then, wasn't that suspicious if the Franklin boys went to the train to get their family member with guns? Well, uh, they were, I don't know how they went, but they disguised him right. <laughs> he went to the funeral as a woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His mama film. Yep. Luella Franklin. Luella, yeah, she was Luella. Wow. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, I actually, well, they told him that he was coming to the film, but they didn't tell him what he was going to do, you know. They just disguised him. But the white folks didn't come to the, they didn't get him in trouble. But yeah, the, 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 the mama said the police name was J-Mac. Zero dollars to Why she remember the name? Sheriff name. He beat the sheriff up. Yeah. Come in today. Get a dollar. Okay, so help me understand from your point of view as a kid. Mm -hmm. Why didn't Isom or Doc have any boundaries when it came to beating a white man? Be who? Beating a white man. But I don't know about uh, Isom there, but about that, but Doc was a uh, Doc was. They said Doc. Well, man, he was man was a uh, he was a cobbler, insurance man, and all that, and a farmer. And he up on the roof working, and the white man came and just talking, blah 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 this that, blah blah this doctor, blah blah this. And they said, well, then they were just talking about that and spit. And then what man, Doc, you spit it over. He's on work. Thursday in November. And this kind of man he was, they said. Now that's what mama said he was. And that was her daddy dog. And Ruby used to say when the world seemed broken. Oh, Ruby raised up there. She said, she said, Doc, right? Doc, 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 he ain't have no boundaries. And they had no boundaries. Doc Wilson was something else. Now, I don't know what all she meant by Doc Wilson was something else. But that's what Ruby, uh, your wife said. Doc Wilson was something else. <laughs> so, we went down in June. Ain't Julie going to get Ain't Julie. Ain't Julie. Ain't Julie. Ain't Julie. Ain't Julie. And speeding on the man off the roof. And he was insuring himself of him too. He was a cobbler, insurance writer, and a farmer. Cobbler, insurance writer, and a farmer. And his wife didn't work right. She had him every day. Probably trust Captain or something. Her name was what? William. William. 
Hey man, where they? Uh, dad, and mama, 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 mama was named Luella. Uh, and her dad was named Isa Franklin. But Doc still rang. Uh, she, she, uh, ring, 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 uh, you know, you know, uh, Joe and Doc had, uh, they had, uh, what they call it, polio? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, both of them had polio. So the only normal one was, uh, Chris and, uh, what I do best to be honest. And Cornell. Uh, and Cornell. Right. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's one and, and that was probably uh, that was the first grandkid. You know, I think it's one thing that I do best. And, they was the oldest. You know, one thing that I, I think they're the oldest. Ain't nobody else old. Joe was the oldest at that. Corey Perry did not practice with the team today after being a coach. Yeah, look. Yeah, Joe was the old. Joe and then, and that's why she said she's the second grandchild. Uh, uh, one just died. Oh, right, 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 right. right. And they were raised around, uh, and he must, uh, he must have kept Joe. He must, uh, Uncle Joe stayed, must have stayed close to him. And he just didn't want to not make fun of his uh, grandkids. Who will be next? Joe, Chris. Sure, no. Oh, Christine. Huh? Christine, Cornell, then. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Really? No, this woman here, who she in there now? Oh. Yeah, you know in there. Oh. Joe. What about them? Yeah, we got all the way there. Who knows if they have a I think, think they all in the same. They, the the they were all in the thirties. Hmm? They was all in the thirties. Yes, I don't know how. Now that's a good fit. Uh, you had to find out kind of how old was them. Oh, Dr. Like Peter had how many kids? The travel number will continue to rise. Uh, what was her name? They are. Thelma. Thelma. The one that was it? Connie Mama. Number one, June 30th, yes, Thelma. Okay, well, what, 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 yeah, so that 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 Doc Wilson family go back. Do you think he killed somebody when he left Alabama and went into Mississippi? That's what they said. <laughs> And then we step back. I got it took on a whole different identity. Oh, uh huh? Remember, mm. had you had y'all ever went to Alabama? Mm -hmm. Where they started it? No, I didn't know that Alabama. I don't even think that. Well, Dad was born in Alabama. Mm-hmm. He was. Mm-hmm. So he had to leave. I heard it now. He had to leave Alabama. Probably the temple. I tell you somebody else who had a temple too now. He looking nice. Uncle <laughs> Joe. Mama said Joe was Uncle Joe was Uncle Joe was hot here. Smile. Mama said, let that smile for you. Is it our other story? Smile on your face. Uncle Peter just having pet on you all day. Hey, girl, how you doing? That's sweet. That's right. Uncle Peter just used to do it real real bad, though. Daddy was soft. Uncle Press, he was gentle. My mama said Uncle Joe was something else. Me? What do you mean, me? Me? Who you know, me? I mean, <laughs> that's the first thing I mean. That's what I, I can get there with space. You know what? You, you're not mean. You have a gangster. You what have about a, Dali? 
Ain't this bitch, nigga? Is that lady in there? See, you? Yeah. I'm 100. Press it, man. No. Huh? No. What is it? Honest. 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 Man, she was mean, and I think left. I know how. Yeah, Franklin was a man. How Franklin was that? That's the meanest person I ever seen. How? She was a man. Have a man. Why would you say that? She, I, I, his, his best friend was sitting in the bar one night. And just talking, we, we, we was all sitting talking, and his girlfriend and everything, and had it, and, 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 he, and he just walked up through there, and I don't know, and Hal jumped up there, and fired on Cozy, and Cozy took off and ducked down and started running, out there, and Hal was running behind him, and I went out there behind him, and a guy out there trying to break a uh, hope. How the, you know, half of them give me a cold. Y'all friend, y'all friend. And shit, I hit the guy. And, and then next thing I know, the police, had, the police had called the police. Okay, I went, the police grabbed me. The police see me hit him. And the police put me in jail and hell in jail. And Calvin said, don't worry, Slim. I'll be down there and get you out. They threw his ass. <laughs> they throw that. At least they, she was there. I was right there to see it. She down there sneaking, her, sneaking on me. She, that was so funny. She, she called us Don't worry, price. Slim. I'm coming to get y'all out. Yeah, they paying police. I'm going to see y'all. I'll be damn it. They throw that toss his ass. They throw that ass in the cab. Yeah. <laughs> he he so hit how y'all get out of jail? They just wrote us an eyeball. They did. I think they gave us an eyeball. Now, the first time I ever beat so those kids. And I went in to play. I was mad, and they had me chain, had my, had my, had my handcuff to the wall, right? And uh, I said, man, these handcuffs too tight. First time I ever had a handcuff. I said, man, these handcuff too tight. Man, loosen them up. He said, I'm not gonna lose nothing. I said, man, you take these handcuffs, I'll beat your motherfucking ass. He said, no, I scatter your motherfucking brain. <laughs> And <laughs> white police told me, he said, no, motherfucker, I scattered your motherfucking brain. I shut up. <laughs> I that God. was police, police brutality. I read your kids in Harrison, yes. Okay, so let me ask you a question. What? This one story I remember about you. Why did you, end, what did you do to go to jail and end up in Maywood at the state police? Mm -hmm. You remember... It had to be like in the 80s or something. We had to go with Darlene and get you out to state police on, in Maywood on First Avenue. Yeah, you went to make, you went to state police. We had to come bail you out of jail up there. I don't remember that. You know that white building on First Avenue? Yeah, I ain't never been out there. Yes, you have. Yeah. Elston, you went to jail out there. A parking ticket she went to. Strangers from five different countries. Oh, yes. I ain't gonna say jail. You was just detained on First Avenue. We had to was, I, was I in the church then? I don't know if you was in the church then. Mm. No, this was your wild day when we was going to the racetrack. Oh, we got caught without license or so over there. It was the state police. Red Dog Express, what it was. Uh huh. Did they even pound the car? I don't know. I couldn't wrap my mind around you being detained. Yeah, it, it probably was a ticket because I think I did. Right there, in, oh, I had one of them old cars or something. They pulled me over. She means yeah. something more. She's a symbol and of peace. She's I, a symbol. Of I don't know that I had to pay to get out. I can't place that right now. I was there. To, I went to go get you. Yeah. I had to go with Dolly. I believe it was because of a car. Uh, they didn't, I didn't stay all night. No. 
Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.